Hello everyone, it's Julia here from Inflorescence Designs. Today I'm going to show you how to make a gingerbread dollhouse. The first thing you'll need to do is to look in the description and click on the link to go to Thermoweb's blog to download the gingerbread dollhouse pattern. Begin by cutting out all the gingerbread dollhouse pieces. To cut the pentagonal walls, begin by measuring up six and a half inches from both the canvas and lining and mark it with a pencil. Next, measure three and a half inches in from one side to find the center. You will then need to take your ruler and line up the top center mark with the one you made on the side and trim away the excess material. Do the same with the fusible fleece. However, measure only six inches from the bottom up and three inches in to find the center. Next, adhere the fusible fleece to each canvas piece. The fusible fleece is half inch smaller all the way around. This will help to avoid bulk in the seams. Once the fusible is adhered, applique the window to one of the rectangular walls and the door to one of the pentagonal walls. Use the half inch squares to create a brick path on the wall roof lining piece that matches the lining piece of the floor. Let's begin assembly of the non-window wall. Begin with the non-window wall. This wall will have the lining piece with the brick path. Start by sewing a canvas roof piece to the blank canvas wall piece using a half inch seam along the long edge. Press the seam open. Next, layer your lining piece with the brick path and wall roof canvas piece right sides together. On the roof piece, measure two inches in on both sides and pin. This will leave a four inch gap. This gap will remain unsewn for turning and handle placement. Next, you will need to pin four elastics, two on each side, to the walls. Once the elastics are secured, cover the elastics and canvas with the lining and sew around the entire piece, leaving the gap between the pins open for turning. Once you have sewn your piece, you will need to trim off the excess fabric around the seams and clip the corners. I suggest leaving the extra fabric on the roof with the gap. Do not trim this side or stitching it closed will be more difficult. Once you have trimmed, turn your piece right side out and press. Press under the opening as well. Now it's time to add some stability to our walls. Insert the plastic wall canvas piece through the opening. Once in place, top stitch across the gingerbread wall in the seam to secure. Then insert the roof plastic canvas piece through the same opening. Before stitching the gap closed, insert the cotton webbing handle and final elastic piece. Top stitch around the top of the roof to close. Follow the same steps you just used to make the wall roof with the window. The only difference is you will omit adding the elastics. Let's begin our floor and pentagonal walls. Once both wall window panels are complete, it's time to move forward. To make the floor and pentagonal walls, simply place the canvas and lining pieces right sides together and sew around the entire piece leaving a gap on the bottom of each one for turning. Once sewn, trim the excess fabric, except for the side with the opening, and clip all the corners.
insert the plastic canvas. The plastic canvas for the pentagonal walls needs to be trimmed to size once each piece has been turned right side out. Simply eyeball the measurement and trim. Once the plastic canvas is inserted, top stitch the bottom of each piece to close. Once all your pieces are sewn, it's time to decorate. I used Fabric Fuse to adhere the rickrack to the canvas. It takes about four to six hours to dry, but it works beautifully and no stitching is required. Have as much fun as you want decorating your gingerbread house. Fabric Fuse Liquid Adhesive is a washable, permanent quick bond liquid adhesive that dries clear and remains flexible. It is a quick, strong bond, but not as quick as hot glue. So you might need to use some pins. And as you can see, I used a piece of wood board to help hold my pieces down while they dried. Once the fabric fuse has had time to dry, you can start assembling your gingerbread dollhouse. Begin assembly by hand stitching each of the pentagonal walls to the floor piece. I use the hidden stitch or sometimes called ladder stitch. Next, sew the window roof wall to the floor piece and then up both sides of the pentagonal wall pieces. Finally, sew the non-window wall to the floor piece. To finish the gingerbread dollhouse, you need to add the five buttons for the elastics to go around. You can also add any other embellishments you desire. A dollhouse wouldn't be complete without a doll to live in it. The pattern in the description below includes a template to make a little gingerbread doll. To make, simply cut out two gingerbread doll shapes, embellish to your liking, and whip stitch around. You'll want to leave an opening to add a little fiber fill, and finally close the opening to finish. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Doing this will give you the front row seat to new content, as well as tips and tricks on how to use ThermaWeb's wide variety of amazing products.